Hello there, happily married woman. It is Dr. Siobhan here, and it is late. It is late by my clock right now. It is 11.31 p.m. on Wednesday night, and here I am on a live stream. Let me tell you, it has been a long day. I woke up this morning probably around 6, a little bit before 6, to my daughter crying for my mother right? For those of you who have kids and they decide that when they're around their grandparents that that's the only person that exists for them. So that's what happened for me today. Um, so anyways, all that to say, very early morning, we were in North Carolina this morning and now I am in New Jersey. So we have been on the road for almost 12 hours driving with our children in the car with lots of stops, lots of traffic, lots of a lot of things. And here I am doing a live stream about deciding ahead of time. What in the world, right? So I wanted to just come on briefly, and for those of you, if this is your first time seeing me and you're like, who is this lady? Hi, I am Dr. Siobhan. I am an author of uh, Voices in Your Ear, New Conversations to Transform Your Mind and Renew Your Marriage. I'm a relationship expert. I'm a marriage coach. And at the end of the day, my goal is to help you create a happier, more loving marriage all without having to make over your husband. So I do a lot of work around mindset and communication, how to remain connected, all of the things that we need to pay attention to to have happy marriages and to be happily married women, right? Because that's what we're all after, no matter where you are in this phase of your marriage, whether you're happy right now or hoping to one day reclaim your happily married status, we are all striving for the same thing, which are strong, successful, long-lasting, happy marriages. And so one of the concepts when I think about what it takes to be a happily married woman is this concept of deciding ahead of time. And that really is just a way of saying that you've made a commitment that you are going to stick to no matter what. Now on Wednesdays, if you were part of my email community, you probably already got this email from me um, because every Wednesday I send an email called Why Not Wednesday. It's just like a nugget of um, inspiration infused with really good stories about my family. Um, but really it, it just drives home like one key point that I want you to think about for the week. And so today the message was in fact around making a decision ahead of time. It was all about commitment. And I want to share that with you because that's really why I'm here at this hour doing a live stream after a very long day, looking a little bit tired, I'm sure, on this video. Um, and the concept of deciding ahead of time is really all about making a commitment. So I will share with you that personally, I have made a commitment to do a live stream every day for the next 20 days now, it was yesterday, it was 21 days. So now that day is finished. And so I have 20 more days of doing a live stream every single day. Um, so I want you to look out for me and hold me to that commitment. The live streams will not always be in this group. Some of them will be on my business page, Relatable. So look out for me either here or there, but for sure, for the next 20 days, I am doing a live stream every single day, whether I feel like it or not, whether I have the energy or not. Um, that is my commitment, and I made that commitment with a very close friend and a mastermind partner of mine who was also very um, goal-oriented and working hard to share her message with her audience, which is actually all about living a healthier lifestyle. But anyway, so the reason that I'm here now is because I made a decision ahead of time that that was what I was going to do. And the beauty of making a commitment, the beauty of making a decision ahead of time is that it really takes out the guesswork for you. Like when I woke up this morning, I knew two things had to happen related to my business. I had to send that Why Not Wednesday email and I had to do a live stream. Now exactly when that was going to happen, I didn't know, but I didn't need to decide am I going to do a live stream today or do I feel like sending an email? No. When you make a commitment to something, you have already decided ahead of time that it's going to happen. And 
a lot of times when it comes to marriage, right, we want to look for a way out. We want to sort of relax the promise and the commitment that we made because when the going gets tough, it seems so much easier. Hi, Shonetta. It seems so much easier to just sort of like ease your way out of that. And I'm here to say no, no, right? No, no, that we have all made a commitment. We made vows. We made promises that include the good and the bad. And so often when the bad comes, we're like, no, that's not what I signed up for. Like, no, I'm not really committed to that the way that I thought I was. And this whole concept of deciding ahead of time is that you don't have that as an option, that it's not even anything that you would entertain for any amount of time. Um, for those of you who have been watching the Made Marriage show, which is every Monday at 9 on my Be Relatable Facebook page, one of the common themes that I hear from the wives that have had really long marriages is that divorce and being unhappy in their marriage is just not an option. My last guest went as far to say that divorce was like a banned word in her marriage. And so when you've made a decision ahead of time that something is not going to happen, it changes your whole perception. It changes your whole orientation to that experience. So if you've decided in your marriage that you will not be getting a divorce, right? If you can stand fully and commit to that, then you already know that any challenge you face, the only question that you're asking is how are we going to figure this out? Not can we figure this out or should we continue working on this? Those aren't the questions you're asking when you've decided ahead of time. You are asking how will we figure this out? And so I take you back to my own dilemma today of waking up very early, knowing I would be in the car all day of how am I going to do this live stream? When am I going to do this live stream? It wasn't am I going to do it, right? That wasn't the question because I'd already made the commitment ahead of time that I was going to do it. And so that's what I wanted to just leave you with today. That is not what I had planned on doing this live stream on because if you watched um, the video from yesterday, I was actually talking about how to break this cycle of negative thinking. And the step that we talked about yesterday was really getting to a place of acceptance, right? Of accepting whatever in your life is not going the way that you would like, is not you know, unfolding in the way that you've been dreaming and imagining. And instead of resisting and getting frustrated with the reality of your situation, it's entering a place of acceptance, entering into acceptance and just acknowledging like it is what it is and not looking at the situation with any judgment, not trying to change it, not trying to control it, but really just releasing and surrendering and accepting that this is what it is. Doesn't mean you have to love it. Doesn't mean it has to feel good, right? We have to sometimes be uncomfortable being uncomfortable. And that's what I talked about yesterday. And so at the end of that um, video, I said that I would be back with step two, which I'm going to actually do tomorrow because I don't want to take up too much of your time and I don't want to give you too much to think about and all of that stuff. So tomorrow I will be continuing on with what I started yesterday in terms of releasing these negative um, patterns of thinking and really entering into a be much better place, ultimately um, being grateful for the experiences that you're having. So we're going to work up to that. Um, but for now, decide ahead of time, right? I want you to make a decision ahead of time. Think of something in your life, in your marriage, professionally, in other relationships that you need to make a decision about, right? Whether that's being committed, working on it, doing your part, forgiving, right? That's an area that you can definitely decide ahead of time. Like I decide ahead of time that I'm going to forgive. And then you look and operate in a way that is aligned with that decision that you have made. So that's what I want you to do. That is your call to action right now. Make a decision that you are going to commit to. Now, I mentioned that I'm part of this 21-day challenge for the rest of August. Um, I think it ends on the 28th based on when I started. So think for yourself, like, what's something you can challenge and commit to for yourself for the next 21 days. 
right? What is something that you will commit to? And it can be in any area of your life, right? Health, wellness, connecting with people, being more positive, practicing gratitude, um, being nicer to your husband, being more welcoming to your husband, whatever it is, I want you to make a commitment, just one commitment that you believe you can really implement and really put, you know, put your best foot forward and follow through on. So you've heard my commitment is to do 20, uh, 20 days of live streams. Yesterday was the first day, so that was 20, you know, 21. The first day is checked off already. I want you to make a commitment to do something as well. Drop it in the comments so we can support you, be excited for you, and let us know what it is, okay? So thank you for watching. Again, decide ahead of time. You're not asking the question, am I going to do this? You've already decided that you are, right? There's no plan B. There's no other option but to do it. You've just got to figure out how and when it's going to happen. All right? So I hope that this has been helpful for you. Let me know what you think and let me know what you are committing to. So drop it in the comments so that we can support you. All right. Have a great evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right. Bye.